Thanks for watching Mid Morning this Wednesday. Oprah Winfrey loves bread and investors love Oprah. Oprah tweeted a video of herself yesterday saying she ate bread every day and still lost 26 pounds on a Weight Watchers diet. So while Oprah shrinks, the stocks keep soaring. The diet company shares went up more than 20%. Whatever Oprah Ooh. says, America says, tell us more, Oprah. We will do, we will follow you into battle. Especially when it has to do with eating bread every single day. Well, I love bread, so I'm very interested in knowing <laughs> more about this. Susan Elizabeth, you know, when Oprah first signed on with Weight Watchers and said she believed in it so much, she bought part of the company, I think a lot of us wondered how much juice does Oprah still have? But she still got it. She made her point. I mean, people feel an emotional connection to her. You know, she can just do these commercials. And I, I think I told you guys earlier, two members of our staff told me they cried when they saw her first weight watch. You know, we've been through this battle with her, her weight. Mm -hmm. She personalized it. So it's these, a lot more These than videos, these commercials that have been running, there's no script. It's just Oprah talking. Really? And then they've edited these together. Oprah doesn't need a script. You're right. Come You're on. right. You're exactly. Right. It's so from the, her heart. That makes it more real. The market value alley is amazing just after this one tweet the market value up nearly 150 million dollars so that's about 5.6 million per pound she lost mm -hmm. so my question is what's going to happen if the diet stops working for her if, or if she stops losing weight if she plateaus is the stock going to go down right well I, she gets to where she wants to be and you you she's happy with her weight and I think that's great. I mean, that's when you up, start right? selling, though. Right. <laughs> right. Well, there is an interesting stock market aspect to this story because we have seen the stock going up and up and up. Mm -hmm. But uh, people, <laughs> there are a lot of investors who are asking the same question Allie is. So they're, uh, they're called like uh, short, short sales. sales. Yeah. So there are a lot of people who engage in short sales who have bought this stock and are waiting like, all right, she's going to lose weight. Now we're going to sell. Or if she she gains back, then you short and you're out. And so that's kind of interesting. What too. Oprah's so good at, though, is connecting with people yes. and knowing what the people love. And I think mm -hmm. that she genuinely loves it, too. I'm sorry. People want to eat bread every day. That's why you avoid diets that are, you know, take away all of the carbs because, yeah. well, sometimes it makes some of us really mean. I want to <laughs> eat bread and butter. Please. Bread and butter every day. Well, but the doctors, great. this is why doctors, are, every time when we say, what are the best diets for people, they say right now the Mediterranean. Mediterranean diet Ooh, mm -hmm. and one. Weight Watchers. Yeah. It's always one that doctors say it because it makes sense. And it's moderation. That's what it's about. It's not deprivation. Yeah. The like question is, are people right. willing to pay for it, right? So Weight Watchers for the online thing only is about 200 bucks a year. For the meetings, mm -hmm. it's about 460. Mm -hmm. uh, and w they're competing with the if, My Fitness Pal but that if costs Oprah, zero. If Oprah endorses it, they're willing to pay for anything when you just look at her track record. I Smartest may, I may be calling Weight Watchers yeah. bread every day and 26 <laughs> pounds. It sounds good. The